but I would raise my child in Ireland. I have an interview for Ryan Air Tuesday. Any tips? Don't go. <laughs> Honestly, that is my tip. Don't go. Don't show up. <laughs> no, like it's a stepping stone, I suppose, if you want to get into Aer Lingus or something in the future. But I feel like you could just go to Aer Lingus, you know. Right, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to go and chill. Um, I literally just done my whole skincare on live. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go and chill. Love you all. Bye. Oh, girls, I'm literally after being balling. I just seen the saddest video that I've ever seen in my life on my For You page. Oh, it was literally so sad. You know when you just see something on it like actually like affects you like no i'm not cleaning i'm just gonna make i wanted to make a vlt but they didn't have fucking tomatoes in Glasgow, so i'm making a bacon lettuce literally i seen something and it was so fucking sad if you see it on your few page today you'll know exactly what it is i don't want to say what it is because it's quite triggering for some people but oh my god i'm literally after being like just sitting crying for ages women are actually like the strongest human beings on this planet like without a shadow of a doubt i don't know how anybody thinks differently because oh my god it's so sad time has brought your heart to me i've loved you for since you I love you for no I'm not gonna say it guys it was it's in a video like it it didn't actually happen to me I just seen it on a video and um it really I don't know it was just upsetting it was quite upsetting no I'm not going to that was April Fields gotcha good gotcha good gotcha good how did your voice go so posh? We have been having this conversation on my page since when I started TikTok. My voice has not changed a single bit since I've started TikTok. This is how I've always spoken. And when I started TikTok, people used to slag me off and say, do you think you're from BlackRock? So that's how we know my voice has not changed. I have always spoke posh. That's just how I speak. In school, my teacher, my guidance counsellor, used to always comment on how I was well spoken. So I've always spoken this way. I cannot help how I speak. And there's nothing wrong with Sergeant Posh. If I sounded posh and was stuck up my own hole, that's a whole other story. But I'm not. And I don't think I sound particularly posh either. I am not skinny at the moment. I'm literally, I've gained so much weight. I don't think I sound particularly posh. I think if you have a good like ear to accents, you will hear that my accent is a mix of a loud accent, a Dublin accent, and then probably a little bit of posh because I'm from a posh area. Like my family are from a posh area. Like, not, I don't know how to even say it. Like, not a posh area, but, you know, one of these areas that people would be like, mm, you know what I mean? Do you get me? Like, my family aren't posh either, so. Is it yours or is it mine, Maeve, I wonder? Ah, uh, Michaela, you're perfect. Don't think that way about yourself. Seriously, don't. You're perfect. Honestly, though, I'm feeling like not confident in myself at the moment because I've put on a bit of weight. So 
I'm going to join back the gym, I think, next week with Brandon. And then I'm going to do Irish dance classes. And hopefully that will be enough for, like, a couple of days a week of exercise. Because I just feel like I'm probably not even getting 10,000 steps in a day at the moment. I'm just so lazy. Yeah, exactly. My accent is just a mix. It's not actually... People hear my accent and they think it's a D4 accent. I'm not... I live... I'll be honest. I live in D4 now. But... I'm not from D4 and I did not live in D4 when I was younger. So my accent couldn't be a D4 accent. What it is, is a mixture of a posh, like not a posh, but a more posh loud accent with a Dublin accent. That's what it is. Um, it's if you mix like a kind of posher loud accent with a Dublin accent. I think people like hear loud and they expect like RD or Drada or Dundalk. Like, they expect one of those accents. But Laird actually has loads of different accents. And it has accents that aren't, like... See, the town closest to me is Drada. And that would be, like, Saba and all. But then there is posh accents in Drada as well. And then Dundalk is quite naughty. That would be so much fun, Maeve. No, I'm not teaching them, are you mad? Me? I haven't danced in 10 years. No, I don't live in Ringsend. I don't live far from Ringsend, though. I live near Ringsend, but I don't live in Ringsend. Um, Evelyn I can't at the moment and I can't say why but it'll all make sense in a few months okay there's nothing else I can really say it will all make sense in a few months why I haven't launched it yet oh my god I would die Maeve oh, oh I'll definitely try and go to, to Riverdance 100% I'd love to I haven't seen Riverdance for years I think the last time I seen Riverdance I was 10 or something I don't drive no the reason I don't drive is a weird one. So I was in a few car accidents because, <laughs> my, well, my mom was a really bad driver. So that's one reason we were in a few car accidents. But we were in one pretty bad car accident in Wicklow, I think. No, or was it Wicklow? Yeah, I think it was Wicklow. And basically it was a T-junction and there was teenagers, like my dad had right away to go, but there was teenagers like speeding down the road, like at 100,000 miles an hour. So they hit the side of our car basically and it's just given me the fear of driving ever since. Yeah, I think people just perceive posh as like an accent that's not a townie like. And then I think people think that all fucking culties speak like protein boar, for example. I'm just using him as an example because he's obviously a culture. But not all culties speak like him. I'm a culture. You know what I mean? I live in the city now, but I was born and reared in the cult in the country. In the countryside. Culties can often have accents like mine. And if you hear me say certain words, you'll know that I'm not posh. Like when I say Facebook, kook, cookies, that's not posh. If I was posh, I would say Facebook, Facebook. No. I think they start this week, D. I actually didn't look, but I think they start this week. I think they're on Sharp Street. Um, You sound like you're from Galway. Galway, Jesus. I've never heard that before. I've heard Dublin and I've heard D4, but I've never heard Galway. Are you Maeve? No way. We do have something planned for the summer, but I can't say, sorry. <laughs> I'm from West Cork. 
Let's have a discussion, right? What do we think the best and worst Irish accents are? If you could decide to do a little, um, like, survey of the best and worst Irish accents, what would it be? The best. First, the best. What's the best Irish accent? You think Dublin's the worst? No way. I think Dublin's one of the best. I love the Dublin accents. I, I think Dublin is one of the best, for sure. I think Northern Ireland are the best Irish accents, so Derry and Belfast, I think, are the best. Cork, for me, is the worst. Sorry. No, Limerick. Limerick's the worst. Sorry, anyone from Limerick. <laughs> but yeah, Limerick is definitely up there with one of the worst. I don't think L uh, Dublin is that bad, but maybe that's because I'm from Louth. So a uh, Dublin accent to me, I've been like, kind of, like, what's the word? Like, used to it now for, for ages, you know what I mean? Yeah, I would say Limerick is the worst. Cork accents sound nice when they sing. Do you know, some Cork accents are grand. Like, I'm just thinking of Young Offenders Cork accents, like Cork City. I think Dublin, Sebastian, Kerry's the worst. Dublin City Centre accent on top. Me. <coughs> Me, the Sebastian. No, I definitely disagree with that. Mead is bogger, true and true. I'm actually from Mead originally. And it's so bogger. I'm so glad I don't speak like that. <laughs> Sorry, anyone from Mead. Cork City is dreadful, even I can say that. Sophie, are you from Cork? <laughs> Dublin source. See, it's mad because people from like Cork and Kerry and Galway and all probably think Dublin is really bad. Whereas People from like Loud, me, Dublin, like surrounding areas of Dublin probably don't think Dublin's bad. Tipperary means the best. Dundalk is one of the worst accents in Ireland because why are you speaking like a Nordy? Like you are not a Nordy. And before you say, oh, well, Loud used to be an Ulster, so did Loud where I'm from and I don't speak like that. So... That is my take on a Dundalk accent. Like, why are you speaking like you're from the North? Speak in a loud accent. <laughs> I have to hate on Dundalk girls. I'm from Drada. Like, it's parent package. <laughs> Posh Dublin accent. Yeah, I agree. I was only saying that last night. Like, someone asked me, would I raise my kids in Black Rock? I was like, absolutely not. No. Imagine my kids coming home. Mommy. No, how do they speak? How do they speak? Mom, um, could you just send me some money on Revolut? I need to go out tonight with the girls. No, absolutely not. No, you'd be getting swung out the door. No fucking way. No. Yeah, I love inner city Dublin. I love like an uh, uh, inner city Dublin accent. So I love that. I think that's as Irish as it gets. Even though I know people will disagree because Dublin was the pale. So technically Dublin's accent is probably the most English accent in Ireland. <laughs> But to me, when I hear a Dublin accent, I, I, I can hear a Dublin accent across the room and I know it's Ireland. But Dublin is also the most heavily West Brit part of Ireland. Like, I think that's also important to remember. So maybe we shouldn't say the Dublin accent is... Well, not inner city Dublin. Inner city Dublin's not West Brit, but like... Where I live in Dublin would be very, very West Brit. Same as any, like, very uppity, you know, south side posh area of Dublin is very West Brit. Like, literally, they have the roads named after British places. Still, in 2024. <laughs> Look, I didn't want the Dundalk accent. It wanted me. We all have our own. Yeah, Dublin does have its own language, like, compared. But I think a lot of Ireland does, like, when I tell Alex words that I said growing up, he's like, what? Like, a big word in loud. Any of my loud girlies here, do you remember? Everything was cat. That's cat. Oh, my God, that's cat. That's cat. And Alex never heard that before. He was like, what? When I told him that, he was literally like, what the fuck is cat like? Pure cat, yeah. Fucking cat. 
Oh, thanks, Shanice. I love you. You did so well the other night. I'm so proud of you. Oh my God, Krez. Krez, where was Krez? I remember Krez. Was that in Talik? That's Kat. Yeah, we said Kat all the time when I was growing up. Everything was Kat. That's fucking Kat. Say that, that's Kat. Everything was Kat. Oh my God, yeah. I, what the fuck does Kat mean? Kat is like rotten or bad. I don't even know how to say, explain what it means. Like it just has, a, it's like minging, bad, rotten, terrible. Has so many different meanings. When <laughs> first child not broke up, why do you think I would have broke? What did I do to break up first child? Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is there anything else you can accuse me of? Let me screenshot that to show that. That is ridiculous. They're literally doing shows. They have shows coming up. So I didn't do a very good job of breaking them up. I may try harder. Fuck me. Oh my God. The control and power you guys think I have is astronomical. Rank. Yeah. Like how you say rank. Exactly. Exactly. Draw the discos. Was Krez and Draw the? No, I had a uh, Rev. Rev grown up. Like Revolution. That's what I had. And Digital Paradise. Does anybody remember Digital Paradise? <laughs> now, when you hear Digital Paradise, so girls, we used to go, right? This is not a word of a lie. Like teenage discos now are nothing like what they used to be. We used to wear tutus, leg warmers, like all neon colors. I swear, no, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, it's like mank. That's what cat's like. But it's not really either. It's so hard to like explain what cat is. Yeah, Katrine, do you remember it? <laughs> Revolution, all oh, girls, stop now. And we used to go, right? So we used to do these things. This is so bad. Oh my God, this is terrible. Like we were like 13, 14. We used to do slut runs where you'd go in and kiss as many boys <laughs> as you could. And you and your friends used to have competitions of who could kiss more boys. <laughs> the fucking scabies going around them discos. I wouldn't even want to know. Yeah, they are, Carol. No, video, oh my God, video honest opinions. Katrine, I have video honest opinions on my sister's Facebook or my cousin's, because I deleted my Facebook. I was clever. My Facebook went before I did social media because God only knows, I'll be so real and so honest. I don't know what I was saying when I was 13 or 14 and ain't nobody gonna hold me accountable now for what I said when I was 13, you know what I mean? So my Facebook was gone. As it should be. I have no fucking tomato for my bacon lettuce tomato. So it's just... Ask FM. Oh my God. Fucking ask FM. Ask FM was brutal. What was the one before Ask FM, girls? There was one before Ask FM and then Ask FM came. But I can't remember the one before. But it was so brutal. It was actually brutal. It was so toxic. But like, when I think about it now, the worst things that you'd get said about you on Ask FM, it's so much, social media is so much worse now. Like, I remember the worst things people would say about me is I was an attention seeker. And I'm like, yeah, I'm still an attention seeker. So. <laughs> Aren't we all? But like, I don't ever remember getting like really badly like bullied on Ask FM. Like, whereas kids now definitely would, you know what I mean? Well, I probably perceived it as really bad bullying at that time. But what I mean is on today's standards of bullying, you know what I mean? Um, Urban Dictionary. Oh my God. Oh my God, my singing on my YouTube videos, Carla, stop. Girls, I made singing YouTube videos. I used to think that I could sing. Carla, please now, don't be embarrassing me. <laughs> I 
made singing YouTube videos and I never deleted them. So they are on YouTube somewhere, but I have no fucking idea where. And honestly, I never want to see them. Carla, shut up now. Enough. <laughs> oh, how do you even remember that? I made like loads of videos on YouTube. I did like handbag videos and all like, what's in my handbag? But I swear to God. Oh, who's your sister, Carla? Um, but I swear to God, I, I, I can't find them now. So I don't know if maybe they got deleted. Maybe I did delete them because I think people slagged me off. Bebo and MSN. Oh my God, nobody. Nothing will ever beat Bebo and MSN. No social media. Kids these days are missing out that they don't have Bebo and MSN. I did go look at my recent video, Ruby. I missed your lives. Oh, hi, Julia. BBM. Oh, my God. BBM was the shit. BBM was literally the shit. We loved BBM. Hannah Quinn. If I seen her, I'd probably know her. I can't think of the name, but if I, I'm really bad with names. If I seen her, I'd probably know her. For sure. I never had a Blackberry. Oh, uh, I did. And I don't know how, because I had strict parents, but I did have a Blackberry. But I would have been like 16, I think, by the time like we were actually using Blackberries, maybe 15. Viber. Yeah, I remember Viber. Uh, I'd say so. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually look her up after. Oh, her mayonnaise on me. I'll look her up after the live, because I'll definitely know her once I see her. Like, I'm so bad at names. Hi, guys. The slide up LG foam. I wasn't allowed to have that. So annoying. Look at this spot. Right, guys, I'm going to go eat my food, but I'll be back on in a bit. Love you.